NBC 9 News starts with breaking news. An undercover drug deal ends with six people shot. Three of those victims are Kansas City, Kansas police officers. We have continuing team coverage of this story. Let's get to KMBC 9's Jackson Kurtz live near the scene where this happened. Jackson, you're at North 18th and Walker, which uh, is not far from Parallel Parkway in KCK. Jackson. Yeah, not at all. We just watched police officers meet a little while ago. We heard from Chief KCK Police Chief Carl Oakman telling us exactly what happened. Here's a scene a little right now of what happened. Here's some other vantage point as well that we've been covering. But we now know this started around 317 this afternoon when undercover police officers were in a a uh, fentanyl investigation that's been leading up to this day. They were trying to make an arrest with some suspects in a car. Then that is when shots were fired between both parties. Those three officers were shot. Three to four other suspects were also shot. Chief Oakman says those suspects were the fentanyl dealers and they were heavily armed and it was a large amount of drugs in their possession. Right now, police are still on the scene, ra scene right now, 18th Street. Here's what Chief Oakman had to say a short time ago. At that point, we went to effect an arrest, and at that point, there was gunfire um, from the suspects of the vehicle as well as the um, officers. And that's the one thing that keeps me up at night how, you know, I'm putting young men and women at risk every night to protect the citizens of Kansas City, Kansas. And again, those three officers are shot. They are expected to be okay. They're still in the hospital tonight. Live in Kansas City, Kansas, Jackson Kurtz, KMBC 9 News. All right, and we continue our team coverage on this story. KMBC 9's Andy Alcock is live in front of the University of Kansas Hospital on Rainbow Boulevard. And Andy, a lot of activity, heavy police presence there too. Right, exactly, Laura. We can also tell you that KCK Police Chief Carl Oakman just made his way here. Also, KCK Mayor Tyrone Garner is also here. You can take a look and you can see there are a couple of KU officers outside in the area leading up to the emergency room. They tell us they are there to make sure only emergency vehicles go through there because it was pretty crowded there earlier. Now, also, uh, we, there was a news conference here at KU about an hour ago, just a little bit less than an hour ago, where they discussed treating multiple gunshot victims. Law enforcement community and the first responder community come together in, in a situation like this. This is really hard on the police officers. It's hard on their families. It's hard on the medical staff here treating the folks that have been injured. So it's an emotional time. Now, we are told these gunshot victims, the police officers specifically, are alert and speaking to doctors. Again, serious but non-life-threatening condition for all of those officers. Reporting live outside the University of Kansas Health System, Andy Alcock, KNBC 9 News. All right, Andy. We